Hi everyone, welcome back to another slow fashion video. My name is Alyssa. Every week I talk about slow fashion with a heavy focus on minimalism and loving and using what you have and making smart shopping decisions so that you can build a curated closet full of pieces that you actually love and wear. So if that sounds like your jam, hit subscribe below. Don't forget to tap the bell. I post every Sunday. And for those of you coming back, welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This week, we're talking about travel. I had a couple of requests for what to pack when going to a warm weather destination. And it just so happens that I am going to uh, Fort Lauderdale and Miami at the end of this month. So I'm gonna list everything I'm bringing and at the end I'll show you some looks that I put together. Let's jump right in. So the first thing that I do when I'm packing is I check the weather. And I also have a wedding to go to, so I should actually mention that, total disclaimer. I'm not going to include what I'm going to wear to the wedding yet because, to be completely honest, I'm not quite sure what I want to wear yet. I chose pieces that I think would be suitable for just a regular 10-day warm weather vacation. Starting with the absolute essentials on a warm weather beach vacation, your swimsuits. I bring two swimsuits, one that's a little bit more modest and one that's a bit more playful and flirty. This is so that I can eat a giant plate of pasta for lunch and not feel self-conscious going in the water. I'm going to be in the car, so I have probably some tops that are a little bit heavier than what you would expect for a warm weather vacation. I included a lightweight long sleeve blouse. This one's made of Egyptian cotton, so it is super duper light. And also, even when I'm in super duper hot weather, I still get cold. So if you run hot, perhaps a short sleeve blouse would be a better option. I also bring a lightweight cardigan that is really easy to add to any outfit if I'm indoors and there's air conditioning. I have a plain white t-shirt, you know how much I love those, and two camisoles. I bring a dark one and a light one. And in fact, my black tank top is reversible, so it's black and white stripes on one side, which is awesome because it counts as three tank tops. And also, prints are great for travel because they hide stains a lot easier than a solid color. You know, I can't go anywhere without denim, so I'm bringing a pair of jeans. And I think for those of you who live in hot climates, you're probably looking at me and shaking your head and being like, this girl is never gonna wear those jeans. But you know, I do. I wear them in the heat with those light camisoles. It's perfect for me. Four bottoms, I've got my one pair of denim, which will be really handy for when we're driving or for nighttime activities. And I have two pairs of shorts. Similar to the tops and the bathing suits, I bring one that is a little bit more fun and dressy and printed, and another that is just a solid white short. If you're not into white or if you're not into shorts, an alternative option for you would be some skirts, perhaps even a maxi length skirt if that's more your speed. The point is, is that I think you only need two, and make sure they vary in style and color. I've only brought one dress, and it is my magic shirt dress that you've seen styled, hopefully you've seen, styled a bajillion different ways. I will also use this as my bathing suit cover-up when I go to the beach. For my accessories, I am bringing one scarf. This is a very lightweight scarf though, so it's good for when nights get cooler. I've also included a hat. Instead of a traditional belt, I'm going to bring this long black scarf belt. The reason why I'm bringing this is that it can double as a nice thin neck scarf, which can instantly dress up a look. Finally, jewelry. This is super personal, but I'm definitely going to bring some of my staple items like my Alex and Annie pearl necklace and my Alex and Annie Liberty necklace, which I've been wearing really often. I'm wearing them today. I'll link to them below. I always bring at least three necklaces because that way I have so many layering options to wear them. I'm going to bring one watch. For bags, I'm bringing three. My trusty backpack, which I mentioned in my Essentials Purse video. A day bag that can also be stretched into night if needed, and a woven bag that will serve as my beach bag. So for footwear, I've got a pair of lifestyle sneakers, a pair of flip-flops for the beach or the pool, and two sandals. I'm also going to be bringing a lightweight jacket. Depending if you run hot or cold, you might want to replace this with 
a little sweater or another blouse. It's a little bit more formal. So if I really need to dress up a look in the evening, adding a little jacket is really helpful to elevate any look. I also think it's really important to bring something to look forward to and that really helps in restoring you on vacation. So I'm going to bring this really good book, which my mom bought me for my birthday, which was just this week. That's what all the peonies are for. I have such lovely friends who got me peonies for my birthday, my favorite flower. And I always bring a small little travel journal so that I can write down what I did at the end of every day. It's just something that kind of helps you reflect and really appreciate the fact that you're able to be exploring a new place. Similar to what I mentioned in one of my previous videos about building a curated capsule closet is I'm really sticking to neutrals and a very similar color palette that allow me to just mix and match while I'm traveling. So here are some looks that I put together. you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and the looks that I put together. Because I used so many separates and neutrals, it was really easy for me to come up with those looks and I think I could have come up with a whole bunch more. That's kind of the beauty of using those basic staple pieces, especially when you're traveling. So I hope you liked the looks that I put together. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will be back next week with another slow fashion video. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao!